Hey guys, ever wanted to know what the ideal Skype video solution was? I'm John P, and I'm going to show you on today's Geek Week. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Audible. All right, guys, there are four things that you need if you want to have a quality Skype video call. Number one, network connectivity. I mean, it sounds obvious, but what you don't know is Ethernet connections are always going to beat out Wi Fi, even if you've got a really good Wi Fi router. So, whenever possible, if you're going to be on an important uh, Skype call, plug in the Ethernet connection. Now, some machines like uh, little Mac Minis, I mean, sorry, MacBook Airs, they don't have Ethernet connections. So, get you a USB to Ethernet adapter and plug in that way. But Definitely go Ethernet anytime you can. Number two, you need lighting, and it's got to be even and white. I know that sounds funny because it's light, but light comes in different colors. Number three, you need a decent camera, and number four, you need quality audio. So let's take it step by step and talk about each one of those. All right, I'm not going to beat the network thing to death because it's just something you've got to deal with. It's kind of outside of the scope of this, but most important thing you can do is have a nice router. And so if you need suggestions, ping me on Twitter or Google Plus, and I will tell you exactly which router will work good for you. Okay, number two, it's going to be the lighting. I've got a very expensive but excellent option for you here. It's called the Ice Light. Now, what I'm doing at the moment is I've got an ice light mounted right here above this monitor, and it's using a pair of nasty clamps. I love these things. The best thing about them is their name, nasty clamps. But what they are, they've got these flexible legs, and on one end, it's got the little screw and adapter. The ice light happens to have those screw mounting points on both ends, so you can put it on a tripod, you can put it on nasty clamps. I've got the ice light clamped directly to this 27 inch uh, monitor, which, you know, some people might worry about doing so. You don't have to clamp it to that. You could clamp it to a shelf or just anything that would support the light. It's not very heavy. Now, the light costs 500 bucks, but it has some other great features. Number one, it's highly portable, so you can stick it in a bag and carry it with you. Number two, it's got two and a half hours of built-in battery life, so you don't have to plug it in anywhere. And number three, it's actually made for photography, and so you can use it when you're not using it for Skype calls. You can use it for photos or video work or anything else. I really recommend these things. We use them. I've done some great photos with them. And you can see it's evenly lighting me and it's nice and color, uh, day, day light color balanced. So that's really important. 500 bucks, just bite the bullet and get you an ice light. I want to show you the difference between having the ice light on and off. Right now it's on. This is what it looks like when we turn it off. So you can tell there's a huge difference. Also, one of the cool things about the ice light is the power is adjustable. So I can turn the lighting down. This is way down low. Or I can turn it up so bright that it makes me look like Casper the Ghost. <laughs> All right. By the way, these nasty clamps, pretty cheap. They're like $25, $30. We'll have links to all of this in the, uh, on the geekbeat.tv website that accompanies the post today. Okay, so number two, we need to talk about the camera. Right now, you're watching me in full 720p because the camera we have is capable of 1080p. We record in 720 and put it out. It's really clear we're using the Logitech C920. Now what I like about this is it's a very versatile webcam. First of all, you can see the quality of the picture is quite good. Um, it will either mount directly on a laptop or a uh, monitor, which mine is currently hanging over the edge of a monitor, like this. 
you can see that the top here will swivel and then this piece goes over the edge and just kind of clamps in place. So that's what the C920 looks like, but it has one other extra special feature besides just the video quality, and that is it has a tripod mount on the bottom, which I really, really like because you could screw in a quick mount plate like this little Manfrotto plate here, and then you can snap it onto a tripod head. Now this, oh sorry, this is an open air. Um, this particular camera has a really nice wide field of view, especially if you back it up a little bit. You can see if I back up, we could easily have a couple other people in here with me. And uh, so you can use this either up close for one person or back up a little and get multiple people in the shot. Okay, we also need to deal with audio, but we're going to take a quick break for a word from our sponsor and then come back and tackle that. AudiblePodcast.com, who's sponsoring the show today. You know, you can head over to AudiblePodcast.com forward slash GeekBeat and you can get a free audio book. And I have two excellent suggestions for you guys today. I love comedians. I love to watch comedy and listen to it. So here you go, right here. If you have never heard Stephen Wright before, good God, he is hilarious. He's got the driest sense of humor ever. ever. You should go get this book, I Still Have a Pony. I mean, it's 42 minutes long, you'll be cracking up the whole time. And then one more, surely you know who Jim Gaffigan is. Of course I do. <laughs> he is hilarious. And he's very clean. Both of these guys, are, by the way, are very clean, so you know anybody can listen to him. But uh, King Baby, it's a great, great show that he did. It's a little over an hour long, keep you laughing the whole time. So if you just want a good laugh, Go sign up for Audible. Remember, you can watch that when you're driving in your car or traveling to and from work and things like that. Okay, time to talk audio. So let's, let's deal with this. Audio is a difficult subject because you need it to be quality and there are so many different characteristics that come into play. Um, one is the directional nature of certain microphones. Another is their ability to reject the sounds that you don't want them to pick up versus capturing the sounds you do. Right now, what I'm using is an MXL AC404 USB. It's a terrible name, but what it is, is it's basically a conference room microphone that plugs in via USB. So this is plugged directly into my little Mac, and uh, you're hearing me, and I can back up a little bit, and you see you're still hearing me pretty well. So what I want you to imagine is, if we had two or three people on this end and we were all sitting around, this is going to pick them up very well, just like a conference room microphone should. However, there's one drawback to this kind of microphone, and that is uh, it picks up all the people well, but it also picks up all the other noises. So right now, I'm shooting this in a very quiet space with no extra noise. If, however, you're not able to accomplish that, you're going to have to switch over to some headphones. So just so that you know, the MXL um, speakerphone mic here goes for about 75 bucks on Amazon. And this is an Editor's Choice award-winning microphone here on GeekBeat. We love it. We highly recommend it. You can use it for a lot more than just Skype video calls. You can use it for any kind of calling you need. For those cases where it's going to be noisy and you want to, you can't really hear very well from the speakers on your computer, you're going to need some headphones. And these are the ones I recommend. These are made by Logitech. They're the H540s. You're going to see that there's a mute, a mute button here and there's volume buttons right here. It also has a little microphone that, that pulls out from the side. And one other interesting thing about these, usually headphones of this type come in over the ear or on ear uh, styles, I guess. I typically prefer over the ear. That means it wraps completely around and touches your head because it rejects all the other sound. Some people like on ear because they don't like a big thing on their head. These kind of straddle the fence. Um, they go on ear, but they 
somehow the cushions feel kind of like they're wrapping around your ear. So I find they have a really good fit in terms of the audio quality. And then I like the little microphone because you can see in the video, it's not, it's not interfering. It's not some big thing in front of my mouth here. Okay. Now, the most important thing is how do they sound? So I'm going to switch over. And now you're listening to me through the headset. So you can tell it's a very different sound. It's going to sound uh, less open. But right now we could have a lot of other noise going on around us. And this microphone is going to reject everything that's you know far away. And it's just going to be capturing my voice. So for those times when you're in a noisy environment or you can't hear well, um, you can use a pair of these Logitechs. The best thing about the H540s, they only cost like $35. They're fantastic. So both of the microphone choices we have today, I'm going to switch it back to the um, MA. Both of our microphone choices today are USB, and the reason why is because it's just more versatile and it's higher quality. It's all digital straight into the computer as opposed to the little uh, jacks, especially when some computers don't have both a microphone and headphone jack. They only have a headphone jack. So that's it. All of these items will be linked to from today's blog post. So head on over to geeky.tv and check it out. And I will see you guys later. Tweet me or Google Plus me if you have any questions at all. And have a great day.